Hello guys, welcome back to another video. As been said, I'm back with the tutorials on Lichi application. So for today, we will be using Lichi application on DJI Mini 2. And in this video, we will be checking out the overview about the Lichi application, like interface and overall settings, what all features they have provided on the Lichi application and uh, overall settings that are provided on the Lichi application. So without wasting much of the time, let's quickly get into the video. So guys, once we open the Lichi application, this is the in initial interface that we see on the screen. So now you guys need to connect your drone with your RC and once your drone and RC are connected, you need to plug in your RC cable to your phone. Then you need to select here as Lichi. So once you select the Lichi, you can see that app gets connected to your RC and it starts fetching the data from your drone. So guys, let's begin with the first impression about this Lichi application. So this is the camera view and here you can see that this is the map view. So guys, on the Lichi application, on the left top corner, you will be able to see the drone GPS points. Beside that, you will also be able to see the RC remote battery status. So currently we have 97% of our battery. So on the right corner, you can see that the signal between our RC and drone. And after that, you will be able to see the drone video streaming signal. Just beside that, you will be able to see the drone battery status. Once you click on that, you will also see the voltage, temperature, remaining power and total capacity of your uh, uh, drone battery and battery life and also you will be able to see the times you have charged the drone battery. This information will be also helpful to maintain your batteries for a longer duration. Next, we get a VR button. Once we click on the VR icon, we can see that the output will be divided into two uh, outputs, left and right. This is the VR vision. We need to have the VR box where we can place our phone and use this in the v VR mode. So as of now, let's exit this VR and uh, let's go back to our uh, other settings. So below the VR, we get a toggle button between video and photo mode. So here we can switch between photo and video mode. Just below that, we get a capture button where we can record the video, where we can capture the photos. So below that, we get a settings button where we can adjust the photo and video settings. So guys, in the settings, primarily we get a capture mode where we can select between a uh, single photo, A, B and interval. So from the next setting, we get the flexibility to change the our uh, settings from auto to manual. So here you can see that on the screen, the blue icons, only that particular parameters we can change. Like here you can see that ISO and shutter speed can be changed. But in the manual mode, we cannot change our aperture and EV. So guys, the next setting that we get is about video format. Video format cannot be changed here. There is a fixed video format that is MP4. So let's move on to the next setting that is video size. So guys, in video size, we get options of 4K 24 frames, 4K 25 frames, 4K 30 frames. And the next option that we get is 2.7K 24 frames, 2.7K 25 frames and 2.7K 30 frames and 2.7K 48 frames, 2.7K 50 frames and 2.7K 60 frames. In 1080p, we get the same thing that is uh, 24, 25, 30, 48, 50 and 60. The settings are same as DJI Fly App. So guys, the next setting is photo format. In photo format, you can choose as uh, JPEG and JPEG plus RAW. And in photo size, guys, you can choose between 4 is to 3 and 16 is to 9. The next setting is about the white balance. In white balance, you get a flexibility to choose between auto, cloudy, neon, incandescent, sunny, and custom. You can change your uh, white balance according to your requirement manually. So guys, the next option that we get is color filter. When I click on color filter, we are not getting any filters uh, in this Lichi application. So let's move on to the next. Saturation, we can change our saturation from minus three to plus three as per our requirement. In the sh sharpness also, we get the same thing, minus three to plus three. We get a flexibility to change the sharpness as well as contrast. So this is the add-on when compared to the DJI Fly app. So guys, these are the few settings that we get in the Lichi application. And there are few add-on features in these settings when compared to the DJI Fly app as said, contrast, saturation, uh, sharpness. And in the white balance, you get uh, different modes as cloudy and everything. So it is add-on feature when compared to the DJI Fly app. So guys, now on the left corner, you can see that we get a 
options of FPV, Waypoint, Follow Me, Orbit, Focus and uh, various other features. So these features we will be testing it in the other dedicated video because we need to uh, go to the open space to test these features. So guys to use these features you need to log in first as you can see that I have logged into the Lychee application. As said before we will be not testing any of these features in this video we will be testing out flying more than 15 meters and we will be testing out RTH in this video. Now guys I will show you other settings that we get in the Lychee application. So these are the general settings. Uh, here we can set the unit, map engine, map type, uh, map auto zooming uh, we can enable or uh, we can uh, reduce it map safe radius like 500 meters it will check out the safety around uh, the point where you are located so there are various other settings so when you install these guys don't change any of these settings for now so next in camera settings we get a uh, auto record option so if you enable this uh, whenever you take off the recording will start automatically so here in the next setting we get a max altitude we can we need to change our max altitude uh, from 15 to 500 meters here if we did not change this altitude then definitely our drone will not fly more than 15 meters and in also go home altitude we need to change it from 15 meters make it 40 or 50 so that it will not uh, crash with any of the trees or buildings so guys another uh, setting that we get is dynamic home point if we on this dynamic home point we can change our home point from uh, uh, different point to point and the other setting that we get is uh, of uh, signal lost behavior guys whenever you install this uh, uh, lychee application go to the setting first and change this signal lost behavior to return to home so that even uh, when you are testing if your signal is lost the drone will be back to the home point the other thing is about the max location accuracy it's 15 meters let's keep it as it is so the next settings that we get is about the speech so it's your user choice guys you can enable which all uh, speech feedback you need like altitude distance and speed everything you can enable and uh, which according to your uh, requirement you can enable and disable this you can also change the keys functionality in the next settings so guys as you can see on the screen our top title bar is showing in purple as p uh, gps so we need to long press and hold and make it green once it is uh, green uh, you need to reboot your uh, aircraft if it is green no need to do these steps uh, if it is purple like sometimes uh, if it is purple then you need to uh, long press and hold it if it is not purple if it is green then well and good you can go ahead and fly your drone without any issue so uh, this will not turn purple every time only if there are uh, low gps points this will turn uh, purple so as said before you need to long press on that uh, pgps and uh, uh, make it green so guys now it's green uh, as you can see left side we are not getting a takeoff button so we need to change our waypoint uh, on the left corner you can see that we are in the waypoint we need to change it to fpv once we go to the fpv uh, we get a takeoff option so when we click on takeoff as you can see 1.5 1.2 meters height uh, the drone will automatically ascend and now we can fly let's test uh, flying more than 15 meters so guys as you can see that our altitude has exceeded more than 15 meters now we are uh, around 30 meters so uh, there is no locking at 15 meters so with this lychee application you guys can fly your drone more than 15 meters so guys now it's time to test the rth so to test the rth we need to increase our distance as well so our altitude is at around 50 meters so now let's increase the distance let's travel at least 20 meters so that our rth works perfectly if you're uh, under 20 meters then rth will not work guys uh, at least you need to be uh, more than 20 meters so now as you can see on the screen we have covered distance of uh, 60 meters let's click on rth so go home so guys at any point of time uh, if you don't want to return it to home and if you want to cancel it uh, as you can see on the top title bar uh, the blue color where it is written as uh, landing tap to cancel you can uh, tap on it uh, it will uh, cancel the return to home as you guys can see on the screen that our drone has returned to the exact flight point like it has returned to home exactly from where it has flied so guys as per my multiple test and uh, observation the accuracy of the return to home is very perfect the drone is landing 
at the exact place or position from where it has take off so guys rtg on this lichi application is working perfectly we'll keep you posted with other functionalities soon so guys in this video we have seen overall introduction about the lichi application we have checked all the settings that have been provided in the lichi application so that's it for this video guys i hope you have liked this video and found this video informative if you guys found this video informative do hit a like button and subscribe to the channel we'll meet in the next video till then take care bye bye